Hello everyone, welcome back, Coach Fury here. We're back today with my draft day sports pro basketball 18 let's play with the LA Waves or LA Lakers and it's playoff time. Um, so today we're up against the usual suspect, the Portland Trail Blazers, who we struggled with last year in the same sort of scenario in the first round, um, only getting through in seven games against them. But I'm hoping that we have just that little bit more talent this year. A um, couple of things are kind of going to go away. Uh, CJ McCollum is out for the opening bit of the series, which is good for us. Um, so which means we're only going to have to deal with Damian Lillard, who's the uh, you know, talented point guard, and uh, the likes of, uh, of Boardman. So I'm hoping that we're going to have the edge against them. Um, in terms of the series itself, I'm, I'm thinking a couple of things here. So for us to try and get the edge, I'm going to change my rotation slightly and put Davis on on Marks on Marks because he's not as good a defender as uh, as Boardman. So I'm hoping that will give uh, Davis a bit of room to to score as we as we kind of need him to. The only problem is that he is uh, suffering from an injury, which means we might aggravate this, but we're kind of going to gamble and and just see it through. Uh, you might see Avery Bradley is injured, but he will be back for the first game. So. We're going to do that, see how we get on. Um, in terms of the, the other games, so I'm hoping that we, we have a, a chance this year. A couple of reasons really. Minnesota are without Carl Anthony Towns, which is huge for us. Um, it means that Dallas will be a good matchup for them. and um, That could be a good series. Golden State, we've, we've talked about their, their troubles, losing Steph Curry to, to Brooklyn. Um, means that Denver is going to be a difficult matchup for them again. Uh, and OKC San Antonio, I you know I fancy ourselves against both of them. We had a good um, season run against Oklahoma City. San Antonio have got Kawhi Leonard, and I think that's pretty much it. So for us in the Western Conference, I'm hoping this is the year that we we actually can try and get to the finals. We can you know with a bit of luck, obviously, but you always need a bit of luck. Uh, in terms of the Eastern Conference, it's kind of business as usual for most of these guys. Philadelphia and Milwaukee are, are the top seeds, as, as you'd expect. Surprise Chicago are a third seed. I don't know too much about them. So if they get through, we might have to have a look and, and see who they've got. Because I think they, they um, signed Cantor in free agency, but I haven't got anyone off the top of my head who's a star. And they're obviously Brooklyn led by Steph Curry. So we shall see how we get on. Hopefully we can get through this first round fairly quickly. My plan is to uh, to probably to, um, to play through and if there's a key game, we might watch it. So we start with the opening game. We managed to, to get the win there quite comfortably in the end. We have John Moore with a good performance. Uh, it looks like Anthony Davis didn't play too many minutes, so he had his injury problems still. But he is back now, um, fully fit, which is good for us. So game two, we managed to get the win there as well. Uh, again, quite convincing. Good job we moved Anthony Davis over. Obviously, he's scoring a much better up against Marks, who um, is Actually holding his own, to be honest with you. He's not doing too bad, but um, he's up against you know an all-star in, in Davis. Well, not an all-star this year, but normally an all-star. So we'll head into game three. Let's see how we get on. So we managed to get the win there as well. So Buddy Hill from Chicago is out with a broken nose. don't know how that's going to impact them, because I know nothing about them, but that's interesting. So we managed to get a 3-0 lead here. So hopefully we can, we can pull off game four. Uh, we won't. We won't watch it. We'll just. Uh, we'll just sim it, um, unless we go to any signing games. So we've managed to get the the four I win. Another good performance by Davis, which is good for us. Um, you can see solidly. We've we've not been playing too many heavy minutes for guys. Bill playing big minutes off the bench, but uh, we've tightened up a little bit. But that's good for us. Another a nice convincing four 0 win. So wow. In terms of the rest of the conference, this is interesting. So. It looks like San Antonio are more or less through against Oklahoma City. They've only got to win one game there, which is huge, which gives us a hopefully a better path to the the, uh, the conference finals. Denver threw one up against Golden State, which is massive, and Dallas have beaten Minnesota. So our two main right, well, our three main rivals in OKC, Golden State, and Minnesota look like they're going to be bumped out. Milwaukee are struggling against Toronto. Brooklyn are. You know, tied with Cleveland, probably the even match up there. Orlando are beating Philadelphia 3-1, so 
there's still a lot to play for for some of these guys. Um, these lower seeds could be going through here. So let's have a look. So Philadelphia have pulled it back. Indiana have pulled one back. And Brooklyn have taken the lead there. And so have Milwaukee. So the East is still pretty wide open. In terms of the Western Conference, Golden State have pulled it back. We are going to be up against like, uh, San Antonio in the second round. So we know who we're playing against. And the Eastern Conference, Milwaukee have got up against Toronto, so they're through. Brooklyn are through. Chicago, Indiana's gone to a game seven. So let's see if Golden State can, can pull it back. And they haven't. Golden State have been bumped out of the playoffs. They just didn't have enough. Jokic with 57 points. That is just crazy. 24-46. Wow. If there's one team that's led by one man, that, that is the team. So Golden State are out. So it means Denver, uh, Denver, Dallas in the, the other semi-final will be against San Antonio. Let's see how Chicago get on. So Chicago have been bumped out by Indiana as well. So in terms of the East, the second seed, the third seed are out. And in terms of the West, the first, the second and the fourth seed are all out. So that's huge for us. Uh, huge performances there. So, in terms of our matchup, we are up against San Antonio, who, I'll be honest with you, I don't know a great deal about. You know, they finished with a 47 and 35 record. Leonard is probably their, their main player. They've got not a lot else. I mean, they've got a fairly good front court with um, Stone and, and, Do and Jordan in terms of defensive numbers have they I mean I'm not sure what else they really have so they're pretty balanced team they've got Bender who's a pretty good scorer so he's playing six man looks like interesting that Edmund who's Edmund okay so Edmund is their sort of star sort of centre so he's back in terms of the rotation though, they're playing Teague and Holiday in the backcourt. So interesting, they're playing two point guards in the backcourt. Obviously Leonard in, in small forward, so we should have enough here to get past them. Just whether we can whether we can do it in terms of rotations and things, it's going to be tough. So we're going to tighten up the rotation a little bit. We're going to put these guys at like 95 or something. So they don't play. I mean, these guys, guys won't, but uh, we probably don't want you playing many minutes. Parsons, you can play a bit more. Being by Bill, I'd probably put you down to 70. Um, Davis, you can play heavy minutes, so you can wall. Oh, I was took the wrong button there. So let's see how we get on with game one. So we managed to take game one fairly convincingly. John Wall with a good game. Davis with a solid performance as well. So if we can just show Kawhi Leonard down. I don't think we've got any injuries. No. Nope. Hopefully we can take a 2-0 lead, which we have, which is good. Yeah, John Wall with another good game. It looks like he's getting the the better of holiday in the backcourt, so that's good for us. Hopefully we can steal one here as well. Yeah, we've managed to take a 3-0 lead, which is good. John Wall again with a good performance, so hopefully we can get a sweep. Okay, so they stave off the sweep. Pulling off against us, Kawhi Leonard sort of stepped up there. Hopefully we can we can get the job done in this game. And we have. So we've managed to get through fairly convincingly against San Antonio. Um, mainly due to sort of the talent I think we had over them. So in terms of the rest of the uh, the conference, so Denver are through, that's gonna be a tough matchup for us to kind of easily beat Dallas there, it looks like. Milwaukee is struggling against Brooklyn and Orlando are putting up a good fight against Indiana. Six and seventh seed are playing each other there, so 
the West is still pretty open. So Orlando have got up. Both going to Game 7s in the East. So Milwaukee, Brooklyn. Brooklyn with Steph Curry, Milwaukee with uh, Giannis. Huge games there. So it looks like Milwaukee have got through. And Orlando are bumped out by Indiana. So in terms of matchups, we are going to be against the Denver Nuggets, who are a one man army of this man here. If we can slow him down, then we have a chance. I don't think they have much else. I mean, Moody is a pretty good point guard, but John Wall should have the better of him. Uh, who else have they got? They've got they're playing Murray. Uh, shooting guard position so he's he's actually fairly good actually I wouldn't mind having him uh, who else they're playing so they're playing Harris and Farid so Harris eh, is not that great so Ingram should have a good good game against him and Farid who they brought back who's an absolutely atrocious defender so we know exactly where we're going to put Anthony Davis for this 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 series but uh, I think it's going to be tough I think uh yeah, we, we've got to show Jokic down. It's just whether whether Capella is enough. Capella and um, Biombo have enough to uh, to slow him down. I mean, I like to think so. I don't really want to have to put Davis there because I want Davis to have the uh, the run on there for Reed. So we'll go with as is. Play through the first game. See how we get on. So we win the opening one by 12 points. Davis with 30 points. We didn't really throw Jokic down at all. 46 points there, but the rest of the team just not helping him. So if that's the way it's going to go, I will be happy with that. So we managed to get the second win there. A 12 point win. Davis with 51 points. So having a field day against Farid, which is great. Um, Jokic again, 32 points. Some other people stepping up there, but um, not quite enough for, for Denver. So we head with the 2-0 lead. It's the next game. We win that as well, quite convincingly. Davis again with a good performance against Fareed. Jokic foul. No, Jokic got injured? He must have got injured. If he has, this, this series is over. I know, so he didn't get injured. So he only played... Let's go back. But he only played nine minutes, so maybe he had an injury in the game. He didn't get fouled out, did he? No, nah, so perhaps he just suffered an in-game injury. But that's fine, we'll take a 3-0 lead. In terms of the other race, Milwaukee are down against Indiana, which is surprising. So, can we get the sweep? So no, they stave off the sweep. I'm guessing Jokic put, <laughs> put 55 points, yeah, okay. So hopefully we can get the job done now. Which we have, we are through to the the actual the championship finals, World Series, whatever you want to call it. We are through. Davis with a good performance. Jokic still putting up silly numbers, but we've managed to to get through. And it looks like we could be against Milwaukee. Um, Indiana have have let it slip. So let's see how we get on. So that goes to a game seven, Indiana against Milwaukee. So, obviously, Giannis and, and Japari Parker are the main thing there. Conley, who we tried to get, Chris Paul, who we tried to get, and Paul George. So, can the, well, a six seed, can the six seed, Indiana, pull off a Cinderella story and get to the finals? No, they can't. So, they have been bumped out by Giannis and the Milwaukee Bucks, who are up against in the, the finals against us. So, I think we're going to end the episode there a little bit early. Um, I'm going to go and have a think about how I want to prepare for this game. I think uh, it's going to be a tough one. I think we have the matchups um, to our advantage, but I will have a look in depth, look see if we need to do any different type of strategy. But we are through. We have finally got through past Golden State, past Minnesota with a bit of luck, and we are in the finals against Milwaukee Bucks. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, hit the uh, like and subscribe button and we'll come back next time with the, the finals.